Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless here with Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions. We're at Blade Show 2022. We're at the Tops booth and I'm here with Jeremiah. What's happening, man? Not much. It's a busy, buddy? busy show. It's been good so far. So we got a couple of new things here and then something that you've been working on and is now sort of current and you're sort of pushing it a little bit, but yeah. I want to start with the new. So new prototype we have this year coming out with is El Pinero, El Pinero uh, collaboration with Ed, Ed Calderon, uh, Ed's manifesto, former counter cartel guy in Mexico, law enforcement, did a lot of uh, deep carry work, just down and dirty. So um, he teaches a lot of combatives classes and counter custody classes. Uh, he, he wanted to do a collaboration with us on a design he's been working on, yeah, El Pionero. So um, on here is his logo la laser engraved. These are just prototypes, it's a work in progress. So things may change. We don't have any idea on price point, sheath, anything like that. This is a working prototype that we gave him, he's gonna test out. but. Teach a lot of uh, reverse grip, thus the finger index point, uh, penetrating point. Uh, super cool design. Look, really looking forward to working through with him on this. No, so. it's really cool. And I'll tell you, there's a few things that catch me right away. When I picked this up, I grabbed it in my natural grip. Definitely just comfortable as a basic EDC knife. But I was wondering about the finger groove, because for me personally, when I pick up a knife, and I'm a bush crafty guy, yep. I tend to go this way, thumb over the top, and I just go, oh, wait a minute, there's that cool little indexing choil right there to give you that nice lockup. And you can see that actually takes the blade and it cants it in a different direction. Now, I'm certainly not the most sort of tactical or you know, self-defense style uh, you know, knife user, yeah. but I can see how that would come into play and it gives you enough room there that the blade fits nicely, but it's not in any danger of getting into your own meat. Yeah, I mean, it usually, usually does the reverse grip. So finger, thumb over the top, that way when you're getting into something or someone, you're not gonna slip down on the blade. No, that's, that's smart. Now, uh, this is subtle. Now on this, obviously, you can see the logo. This one here, it's in there. You can definitely see it in there. It, it's subtle. It adds just a tiny bit of texture in there. It's deep enough yeah. that it actually does, interestingly, aid in a little bit of grip. It aids in just a little bit of purchase there. It's nice. This is really cool. I like what you're doing. Yeah, that's his, Ed Calderon's logo, the Sneak Reaper. Semi-religious, uh, occult sort of deal. It's mm -hmm. kind of his thing. And he's been floating around here as kind of a ghost, so oh, you wow, might cool. see him. So he's at the show? Yeah. Nice. Yep. And then on top of it, obviously, this one fully blacked out, a little bit of red liners and your coating. This one here with the sort of browner, more natural, my card of the red liners. And then that's your, uh, what do you just call that? Like your tumbled finish, yeah. sort of a yep. standard. And cool little uh, logo there, the little etching. That's yeah. nice. Little roses. Very cool. Now, talk about the sheath real quick. What do you expect this is going to come with? I, I actually don't know. He, Ed, usually goes with more simplistic sheaths. Um, he likes to tie them in his belt loop, just yep. carry across carry or down the pants. Oh, Sometimes cool. with yep. a, a dummy cord. Uh, super simple. So if I had to project what it might be like, it's going to be basic. Low, low can, profile, yeah. slim line, yeah, prob gray man. Kydex? You, would you I would likely, likely. Okay. Very cool. Nice. Yeah. All right. So again, um, L. Pionero. 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 All right. <laughs> All right, so now moving on to something that people have probably already seen, but at this point, full production run? Yes. What do we got? We have the Camp Creek Fire Edition. Nice. Really cool. So you've been playing with uh, different colors, different handle materials, and you sort of settled on the red? Yeah, red G10 with a black G10 liner. Uh, it's a variation on the original Camp Creek. It has a little bigger belly on it, a little thicker uh, profile blade, and larger, uh, larger handle. 
nice. Definitely fills out the hand really nice. Um, gonna be you know good for those skinning tasks. I'm personally not a hunter, uh, but I could definitely see where somebody would like this because you end up with actually that perfect little choil there where you're able to kind of get up, your finger can get right on the tip of that, and it's really controlled and balanced. It feels nice. Yeah. This one will come with a black leather sheath. Uh, the other one is Kydex with a dangler, so we decided to change it up, match the red. Uh, stitching just makes that pop. That's nice. You guys always do a fantastic job with your leather work, so really nice to see it. And I like the red, it's a good pop. Nice little touch. So It's clean. It is. It's a beautiful knife. The camp, original Camp Creek is one of my favorites. Yep. Um, but this one, just a variation on it, <laughs> just as good. Nice. All right, well, Jeremiah, man, I appreciate it. Thank you for your time here at the Tops Booth. Thank you. It's great to always see you guys. Yeah. It's always exciting in, uh, you know, Atlanta 2022. Yeah. Hell yeah.